Coagulation factors are a group of proteins synthesized chiefly by the liver and essential for blood clot formation. They take part in secondary hemostasis. They interact with each other in a cascade, right? So one product of a reaction will stimulate another reaction. We'll talk more about it in a separate video, right? For now, let's just go through uh, the clotting factors, right? So factor one is fibrinogen and the active form is fibrin. And the active form is usually written as with an A in front, like for example here, Factor 1A is fibrin because it's the active form of fibrinogen, right? Factor 2 is prothrombin and the active form is thrombin. Factor 3 is tissue factor. Factor 4 is calcium. Factor 5 is labile factor or proaccelerin. Factor 6 is not there. Factor 7 is stable factor or pro-convertin. Factor 8, anti-hemophilic factor, right? So, and other texts will say anti-hemophilic factor A, and the factor 9 will be anti-hemophilic factor B, right? But uh, for easy understanding, just to know that factor 8 is anti-hemophilic factor, and factor 9 is plasma thromboplastin component, PTC or Christmas factor. Factor 10 is Stewart Pro factor. Factor 11, plasma thromboplastin antecedent PTA. Factor 12, Eggman factor. Factor 13, fibrin stabilizing factor. Right. So uh, factor 1 is activated by thrombin. And its function is stabilization of the platelet plug. Factor 2 is activated by factor 10 and factor 8, the active form, right? So it's a complex. And the function of factor 2 is cleavage of fibrinogen to fibrin. And it also activates numerous other coagulation factors. Factor 3 is activated by endothelial injury. And its function is activation of factor 7 and also tissue factor and factor 7, the active form, will form a complex that activates factor 10. Factor 4, calcium, is released by uh, platelets and fibrocytes, right? And its function, is, this is required for complex formation and other reactions in the coagulation cascade. Factor 5 is activated by thrombin and the function uh, active factor 5 and factor 10 will form a complex that cleaves prothrombin into thrombin. Factor 7 is activated by tissue factor function. Factor 7, the active form, and tissue factor will form a complex that activates factor 10. Factor 8 is activated by thrombin. Factor 9 is activated by active form of factor 11. Right, so uh, factor 8 and factor 9, uh, their function, the active forms, or, or will form a complex that activates factor 10. Factor 10 is activated by complexes of tissue factor, active form of factor 7, and uh, another complex, factor 8 and factor 9, the active forms, again. Right, the function is that uh, the active form of factor 10 and 5 will form a complex that cleaves prothrombin into thrombin. Factor 11. Factor 11 is activated by factor 12 and thrombin, and the function is to activate factor 9. Factor 12 uh, will be activated by exposed collagen, calicrine, kininogen this is high molecular weight kininogen and uh, the function is activation of factor 11 and calicrine system which will lead to production of bradykinin factor 13 is activated by thrombin and the function is to stabilize the fibrin network 
by producing crosslinks. Right, so this is a lot to take in. And after watching the secondary homostasis video, you need to come back here to review because if you look at the functions, it's, it's like haphazard. But believe me, there is a way to remember the factors. Right, so just to remember there is no factor six. Right, so the mnemonic says, Freshers party tonight. Come, let's sing and call seniors. Please have fun. Freshers party tonight. Come, let's sing and call seniors. Please have fun. Right, for all these factors, as you can see. All right, so in the next video, that's where we'll talk about secondary hemostasis. There will be uh, intrinsic pathway, extrinsic pathway, uh, and the common pathway. So stay tuned.